Hello and welcome back to Net Translator's eClassroom. Here's another tip for Adobe FrameMaker on the subject of variables. The variables feature in FrameMaker is extremely useful and can be used for text that changes often and appears frequently in documentation. In addition, variables are good for using with information that is automatically updated. There are two kinds of variables in FrameMaker. User variables that the technical writer defines in FrameMaker, such as product and company names, and system variables that are controlled by FrameMaker, such as file name. Say we have a company called Save the World Incorporated, which appears many times in the company's extensive documentation. The technical writer uses a variable for the company name everywhere it appeared. Now say that the company decides to change its name to Save the Planet Incorporated. Instead of having to do a search throughout the documentation, replacing the old company name with the new one wherever it appears, since a variable was used, this can be speedily accomplished by updating the variable name and updating the FrameMaker files. So even though this feature works extremely well in the English source documentation, when localizing, things aren't always as smooth. This is because variables are translated separately and not in the text where they appear. When the text is translated, the variables appear locked in tags, and their translation will be automatically inserted when generating the target files. The first screenshot in the following example shows how the variable manager is translated separately, and the second screenshot shows how it is locked in tags where it appears in the text. Now let's finally get to the problematic aspect of this. The variable will usually appear multiple times in the target files, but its translation will appear exactly the same in all locations as it was only translated once separately from the text. In some target languages, the same inflection of the translated variable won't be suitable in all its locations in the text. In the following example in Danish, surgical needle is a variable, and the technical writer has made this term plural by adding an S to create surgical needles. In Danish, to make it plural, the translation of the word surgical also needs to be changed. As this term is a variable, it's not possible, and so grammatically the translation will be incorrect. The most time-saving solution for this issue is to convert the variables in the source files to regular text so that they can be translated correctly in their locations in the text. This is not an ideal solution, as then the variables feature can't be utilized, but sometimes there just isn't a better option. Join us in our next clip of our series on technical writing for localization. For more information or questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at www.net-translators.com.